Hey everyone, it's Adam and in this episode we'll be talking about Azure Governance even further with use of Azure Blueprints. If you want to find out how they work, stay tuned. Azure Blueprints is the last service when it comes to the governance of your Azure environment. And in this episode we'll be talking about what Blueprints are and what are the typical scenarios for using Blueprints in your own Azure environments. But before we jump into the service itself, let's talk about the definition of a blueprint. Blueprint is really a guide, a pattern or a design for making something. So it could be something as simple as a chair. If you have a blueprint of the chair, you can make as many chairs as you want. And you know they will be identical if you just follow that blueprint. And the same principle applies to Azure Blueprints. It's a service with an Azure that helps you manage your Azure environments consistently. Let's picture a simple scenario where we are a central governance team and we want to deploy pre-approved environment for building web applications. To do that in our Azure subscription, the first thing we'll need to do is to create a resource group. Once the resource group is created, then we will create role assignments, which will allow your team to manage their Azure resources and build their own applications. For typical web application, you might want to create resources like SQL database and app service for hosting your web application. You might additionally want to pre-configure those services to match your internal requirements when it comes to security and compliance. And lastly, if you have some policies, then you might want to assign those for this specific resource group. Depending on how many of those role assignments you need to make, how many resources you need to create and how many policy assignments you will want to do, you will start seeing that this will grow as your organization grows and more standards will appear. And this effort might take some time, especially if you will want to replicate this entire environment that you just created in another subscription or just another resource group. You would have to go through all of those steps again. And since we are all humans, we will make mistakes. So to avoid those mistakes, your operation teams will start creating scripts. But you don't really have to create those scripts because Azure Blueprints is to help with this. You can grab all of those pieces and put it into a single Blueprint definition. A Blueprint definition is a collection of Azure components, role assignments, resource groups, resources, and policy assignments, allowing you to deploy those with a single press of a button. And when the definition is created, you can then go to your subscription and create Blueprint assignment. When you create assignment, Azure will deploy all of the components defined by the Blueprint automatically. And because the, this is the definition, you can apply this as an assignment as many times as you want, replicating your environment very easily. And technically, this is what this service is all about. It's about creating definitions and assigning them and deploying resources. And in high level, this is what the service is for. When it comes to functionality itself, it's about providing you with another tool in Azure to script and automate resource deployment and environment setup and do it in a consistent manner, be able to define a central repository for your pre-approved designs and patterns, allowing your teams to create environments fast and in very consistent manner. Let me show you how Blueprints work. In Azure portal, we simply search for Blueprint in our search bar. In the Blueprint service, the UI is very simple. You just have Blueprint definitions and assigned Blueprints on the left-hand side. So we go to Blueprints definition and create a new Blueprint. In this panel, you can use samples provided by Microsoft covering most of the classic and most of the common standards on the market regarding the security and compliance. But if we want, we can start with a blank one. This is what I will do right now. In the template, I will call this demo BP. And with the location, you can specify where this blueprint can be assigned to. You can either choose a management group or specific subscription. Next, we go to artifacts. Artifacts is just another name for Azure components. For this demo, I will add an artifact, which is a resource group under our subscription. I can give this artifact a name or leave it blank. And with those checkboxes, I can either provide the static values or leave the checkbox marked so that 
whoever will be assigned the blueprint will need to provide this as a value. Since I want that, I will just hit add. Under this resource group, I want to do three things. First of all, I want to do a role assignment and give someone a reader role. Again, I want to be able to provide that later on, therefore I'm leaving this checkbox on. Additionally, I will always want to apply tag to all the resources within this resource group. To do that, I will add an artifact. In this case, this will be Azure policy. I will search for append and the policy that I need is called append a tag and its value to resources. Select it, hit add. And then the very last thing that we need is to create any kind of resource. For this particular example, I will create a storage account. To do that, I will select artifact type of Azure Resource Manager template. This is the declarative language of creating Azure resources. We've talked about this in the past. We need to provide a name, storage account, and the template itself. I already have template created, so I will just provide the template here. We don't have to focus on this right now. If you want, you can also go to parameters and override those template parameters here. For example, unselect those if those should be always the default values. Hit add when you're done. Once you are happy with this, you can save this as a draft. Creating drafts is a very important mechanism which allows you to manage versions for your blueprints. Once the draft is created, you can then select it again. And if you're happy with the result, you can publish this. When you publish a blueprint, you need to provide a version. Let's say 1.0. Once the blueprint is in a published state and it has a version, you can assign this blueprint. To do that, you can select Assign Blueprint, provide assignment name. So this is a unique description for you to know where this was assigned. I can leave this as default. Other options are important, but not the focus for us today. So we'll just skip ahead. At the very bottom, we need to fill in artifact parameters. In this case, our first artifact is a resource group. So we will provide a name for it, like AZ900 Blueprint. And we also select the location for this resource group. In this case, this will be West Europe region. Our next parameter is a reader role assignment. For this, I will select Tom Doe's account so that Tom will have assigned a role of a reader on this specific resource group. And our last artifact is Azure Policy Assignment, which requires us to specify the tag name. In this case, I will call this Blueprint and give it the name DBOPP, which will let me know which resources have been deployed by this Blueprint. And for the storage account, we don't have any parameters because we unselected checkbox. Therefore, those are left with default values. If we're happy with our selection, simply hit Assign and that's it. After a couple of seconds, this blueprint will be created and the assignment will start, which we can find by navigating back to blueprints, going to the assigned blueprints panel and selecting our blueprint assignment that we just created. Right now, this blueprint is in a waiting state. Therefore, it's being queued for the deployment. So let's wait for the deployment to happen. In just one minute, our assignment is completed. To verify that, let's go back to Azure Dashboard and navigate back to Resource Groups panel. In this panel, let's search for AZ900 Blueprint Resource Group and just open it. So first of all, the resource group already exists. That means first artifact was deployed successfully. If we go to Access Control to Role Assignment, we can find Tom Doe as a reader. So the second artifact was also deployed. In the overview, we also see the storage account. Therefore, the storage account was also deployed. And if we navigate to the storage account, we can also see a tag called Blueprint Demo BP. That means the policy assignment did also work. To summarize, Azure Blueprint is a package of various Azure components, so-called artifacts. And those include resource groups, ARM templates, so creation of Azure resources, policy assignments, and role assignments. And the service itself was designed to provide you with centralized storage for those approved design patterns by your organization. Few terms to remember here is Blueprint definition describes what should happen. It's this reusable package and it can be parameterized. 
whereas blueprint assignment is describing where it should happen. So this is this package deployment. As always, remember to check my website and the practice test to see how much did you get from this episode. We're done with blueprints. If you want to follow to the next episode, as always, hit the icon on the side or follow the playlist. If you like my work, support the channel by subscribing, liking and commenting. See you in the next one.